What I want to show you is some of the new changes to guided access in iOS 8. There's one really neat new feature I want to highlight, so I'm going to show you it. Um, first thing, if you don't know how to do guided access, you can go to settings, which is right here. You then want to go to general, accessibility, and then within accessibility, you can scroll down to where it says guided access. Guided access, once you turn it on, allows you to lock your iPad to one single app and then maybe uh, take out some parts of the screen that aren't accessible. One of the new things, which is really neat, is this guy. You see the little time limits. That right there allows you to set a time limit for an app. So when you're using guided access, at a certain time, it's going to lock it and the student cannot do anything else. So this is great for when you're using your iPad in small groups or you tell a student they get uh, maybe two minutes of reward time with an iPad, you could literally lock them to two minutes. You can set a certain sound to play or you can actually have it speak. So I'm going to turn on speak and I'll pick a sound here too. And how about, um, I don't know, let's say popcorn. So it's going to make that sound when the app time is up. So for example, to show you what it looks like, I'm going to go find my new favorite game here. Let's see here, Daddy Long Legs. And then I want to turn on Guided Access. So I'm going to triple click my home button. I can then do a couple different things. All right. One, I want to set my time limit, and that's right here. So I'll say Options. I'm going to allow the person to play it for one minute. So I set one minute and I turn it on. Another thing I could do is I'm going to circle this little area up on top so that if the student somehow wants to click an ad, they can't. It's going to keep them right there. So I'm going to hit start. And so the neat thing is the student can play the game, but then in one minute it's going to lock them out. Also, what you notice is the ad at the top, I can't click that ad. So I am stuck in that app all the way. So if you're allowing the student to play this game for reward time, they're going to be able to play it. They can't get to anything else. If I try to click the home button, it won't let me get there. And you can see there's actually 34 seconds remaining in the app. 29 seconds time. remaining. And you can just hear the iPad talk to me, telling me how much time is left. And my time should be coming up here pretty quick. In fact, seven seconds. Guided access time has ended. So you can see now the student cannot do anything. Their time is up on the iPad. And if this was a table rotation, you can have students rotate. It's kind of, so it's kind of like a built in timer. Or if it was a reward for a student, their reward is over and they're not going to be able to continue it. All right? Um, I can triple click to get the back to guide access. I then had to put my code in. And then I've unlocked guided access. So then at that point, I could maybe give them more time. I could increase the time limit. Or I could end it. So that's one of the cool new features on guided access. I want to make sure I highlight it for you. So I hope it was useful and have a great day.